a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Wine Wine is an alcoholic beverage made from fermented grapes. Yeast consumes the sugar in the grapes and converts it to ethanol, carbon dioxide, and heat. Different varieties of grapes and strains of yeasts produce different styles of wine. These variations result from the complex interactions between the biochemical development of the grape, the reactions involved in fermentation, the terroir, and the production process. Many countries enact legal appellations intended to define styles and qualities of wine. These typically restrict the geographical origin and permitted varieties of grapes, as well as other aspects of wine production. Wines not made from grapes include rice wine and fruit wines such as plum, cherry, pomegranate, currant and elderberry. Wine has been produced for thousands of years. The earliest known traces of wine are from Georgia, Iran, and Sicily although there is evidence of a similar alcoholic beverage being consumed earlier in China. The earliest known winery is the 6,100-year-old Arini wine winery in Armenia. Wine reached the Balkans by 4500 BC and was consumed and celebrated in ancient Greece, Thrace, and Rome. Throughout history, wine has been consumed for its intoxicating effects. Wine has long played an important role in religion. Red wine was associated with blood by the ancient Egyptians and was used by both the Greek cult of Dionysus and the Romans in their Bacchanalia. Judaism also incorporates it in the Kiddush and Christianity and the Eucharist. History The earliest archaeological and archaeobotanical evidence for grape wine and viniculture, dating to 6000-5800 BC was found on the territory of modern Georgia. Both archaeological and genetic evidence suggest that the earliest production of wine elsewhere was relatively later, likely having taken place in the southern Caucasus, or the West Asian region between eastern Turkey and northern Iran. The earliest evidence of a grape-based fermented drink was found in China, Georgia from 6000 BC, Iran from 5000 BC, and Sicily from 4000 BC. The earliest evidence of a wine production facility is the Arini One Winery in Armenia and is at least 6,100 years old. A 2003 report by archaeologists indicates a possibility that grapes were mixed with rice to produce mixed fermented beverages in China in the early years of the 7th millennium BC. Pottery jars from the Neolithic site of Jahu, Henan, contain traces of tartaric acid and other organic compounds commonly found in wine. However, other fruits indigenous to the region, such as hawthorn, cannot be ruled out. If these beverages, which seem to be the precursors of rice wine, included grapes rather than other fruits, they would have been any of the several dozen indigenous wild species in China, rather than Vitis vinifera, which was introduced there 6,000 years later. The spread of wine culture westwards was most probably due to the Phoenicians who spread outward from a base of city-states along the Mediterranean coast of what are today Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and Palestine. The wines of Byblos were exported to Egypt during the Old Kingdom and then throughout the Mediterranean. Evidence includes two Phoenician shipwrecks from 750 BC discovered by Robert Ballard, whose cargo of wine was still intact. As the first great traders in wine, the Phoenicians seem to have protected it from oxidation with a layer of olive oil, followed by a seal of pine wood and resin, similar to Retsina. Although the Noagic Sardinians already consumed wine before the arrival of the Phoenicians the earliest remains of Apodana Palace in Persepolis dating back to 515 BC include carvings depicting soldiers from Achaemenid Empire subject nations bringing gifts to the Achaemenid king, among them Armenians bringing their famous wine. Literary references to wine are abundant in Homer, Alcman, and others. In ancient Egypt, six of 36 wine amphoras were found in the tomb of King Tutankhamun bearing the name K, a royal chief vintner. Five of these amphoras were designated as originating from the king's personal estate, with the sixth from the estate of the royal house of Aten. Traces of wine have also been found in Central Asian Xinjiang in modern-day China dating from the 2nd and 1st millennia BC. 
The first known mention of grape-based wines in India is from the late 4th century BC writings of Chanakya, the chief minister of Emperor Chandragupta Maurya. In his writings, Chanakya condemns the use of alcohol while chronicling the emperor and his court's frequent indulgence of a style of wine known as modu. The ancient Romans planted vineyards near garrison towns so wine could be produced locally rather than shipped over long distances. Some of these areas are now world-renowned for wine production. The Romans discovered that burning sulfur candles inside empty wine vessels kept them fresh and free from a vinegar smell. In medieval Europe, the Roman Catholic Church supported wine because the clergy required it for the Mass. Monks in France made wine for years, aging it in caves. An old English recipe that survived in various forms until the 19th century calls for refining white wine from bastard, bad, or tainted bastardo wine. Etymology The English word, wine, comes from the Proto-Germanic winam, an early borrowing from the Latin winum, wine, or vine, itself derived from the Proto-Indo-European stem wino. The earliest attested terms referring to wine are the Mycenaean Greek me too wo ni wo, meaning, in, or, of the new wine, and wono wa tc, meaning, wine garden, written in Linear B inscriptions. Linear B also includes, in Turalia, an ideogram for wine, i.e., ultimate Indo-European origin of the word is the subject of continued debate. Some scholars have noted the similarities between the words for wine in Indo-European languages, Kartvelian, and Semitic, pointing to the possibility of a common origin of the word denoting wine. In these language families, the Georgian word goes back to Proto-Kartvelian wino, which is either a borrowing from Proto-Indo-European or the lexeme was specifically borrowed from Proto-Armenian wineo. Whence Armenian Gini, an alternate hypothesis by Farnrich supposes wino a native Kartvelian word derived from the verbal root an. See wino for more. All these theories place the origin of the word in the same geographical location, Transcaucasia, that has been established based on archaeological and biomolecular studies as the origin of viticulture. Red wine The red wine production process involves extraction of color and flavor components from the grape skin. Red wine is made from dark-colored grape varieties. The actual color of the wine can range from violet, typical of young wines, through red for mature wines, to brown for older red wines. The juice from most purple grapes is actually greenish-white. The red color comes from anticyan pigments present in the skin of the grape. Exceptions are the relatively uncommon tincturia varieties, which actually have red flesh and produce red juice. White wine Fermentation of the non-colored grape pulp produces white wine. The grapes from which white wine is produced are typically green or yellow. Some varieties are well known, such as the Chardonnay, Sauvignon, and Riesling. Other white wines are blended from multiple varieties. Toque, Sherry, and Sauterne are examples of these. Dark-skinned grapes may be used to produce white wine if the winemaker is careful not to let the skin stain the wort during the separation of the pulp juice. Pinot Noir for example, is commonly used to produce champagne. Dry white wine is the most common, derived from the complete fermentation of the wort. Sweet wines are produced when the fermentation is interrupted before all the grape sugars are converted into alcohol. Sparkling wines, which are mostly white wines, are produced by not allowing carbon dioxide from the fermentation to escape during fermentation, which takes place in the bottle rather than in the barrel. Rosé wine A rosé wine incorporates some of the color from the grape skins, but not enough to qualify it as a red wine. It may be the oldest known type of wine, as it is the most straightforward to make with the skin contact method. The pink color can range from a pale orange to a vivid near purple, depending on the varietals used and winemaking techniques. There are three primary ways to produce rosé wine, skin contact, saini, and blending. Rosé wines can be made still, semi-sparkling, or sparkling, with a wide range of sweetness levels from dry Provençal rosé to sweet white Zinfandels and blushes. 
Rosé wines are made from a wide variety of grapes all over the world. Fruit wines Wines from other fruits, such as apples and berries, are usually named after the fruit from which they are produced combined with the word wine, and are generically called fruit wine or country wine. Other than the grape varieties traditionally used for wine making, most fruits naturally lack either sufficient fermentable sugars, relatively low acidity, yeast nutrients needed to promote or maintain fermentation, or a combination of these three characteristics. This is probably one of the main reasons why wine derived from grapes has historically been more prevalent by far than other types, and why specific types of fruit wine have generally been confined to regions in which the fruits were native or introduced for other reasons. Mead, honey wine. Mead, also called honey wine, is created by fermenting honey with water, sometimes with various fruits, spices, grains, or hops. As long as the primary substance fermented is honey, the drink is considered mead. Mead was produced in ancient history throughout Europe, Africa, and Asia, and was known in Europe before grape wine. Starch-based wine and wine-based products. Other beverages called wine, such as barley wine and rice wine, are made from starch-based materials and resemble beer more than traditional wine, while ginger wine is fortified with brandy. In these latter cases, the term wine refers to the similarity in alcohol content rather than to the production process. The commercial use of the English word wine is protected by law in many jurisdictions. Some UK supermarkets have been criticised for selling wine-based drinks, which only contain 75% wine, but which are still marketed as wine. The International Organisation of Vine and Wine requires that a wine-based drink must contain a minimum of 75% wine, but producers do not have to divulge the nature of the remaining 25%. Grape Varieties Wine is usually made from one or more varieties of the European species Vitis vinifera, such as Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Gamay, and Merlot. When one of these varieties is used as the predominant grape, the result is a varietal, as opposed to a blended wine. Blended wines are not necessarily inferior to varietal wines. Rather they are a different style of wine making. Wine can also be made from other species of grape or from hybrids, created by the genetic crossing of two species, V. labrusca, V. estivalis, V. rupstris, V. rhodandifolia and V. riparia are native North American grapes usually grown to eat fresh or for grape juice, jam, or jelly, and only occasionally made into wine. Hybridization is different from grafting. Most of the world's vineyards are planted with European V. vinifera vines that have been grafted onto North American species rootstock, a common practice due to their resistance to phylloxera, a root louse that eventually kills the vine. In the late 19th century, most of Europe's vineyards were devastated by the infestation, leading to widespread vine deaths and eventual replanting. Grafting is done in every wine-producing region in the world except in Argentina, the Canary Islands and Chile the only places not yet exposed to the insect, in the context of wine production. Terroir is a concept that encompasses the varieties of grapes used, elevation and shape of the vineyard, type and chemistry of soil, climate and seasonal conditions, and the local yeast cultures. The range of possible combinations of these factors can result in great differences among wines, influencing the fermentation, finishing, and aging processes as well. Many wineries use growing and production methods that preserve or accentuate the aroma and taste influences of their unique terroir. However, flavor differences are less desirable for producers of mass market table wine or other cheaper wines, where consistency takes precedence. Such producers try to minimize differences in sources of grapes through production techniques such as micro-oxygenation, tannin filtration, cross-flow filtration, thin film evaporation, and spinning cones. Classification Regulations govern the classification and sale of wine in many regions of the world. European wines tend to be classified by region, while non-European wines are most often classified by grape. 
market recognition of particular regions has recently been leading to their increased prominence on non-European wine labels. Examples of recognized non-European locales include Napa Valley, Santa Clara Valley, Sonoma Valley, Anderson Valley, and Mendocino County in California, Willamette Valley and Rogue Valley in Oregon, Columbia Valley in Washington, Barossa Valley in South Australia, Hunter Valley in New South Wales, La Co in Argentina, Central Valley in Chile, Vale dos Vinhedos in Brazil, Hawke's Bay and Marlborough in New Zealand, and in Canada, the Okanagan Valley of British Columbia, and the Niagara Peninsula and Essex County regions of Ontario are the three largest producers. Some blended wine names are marketing terms whose use is governed by trademark law rather than by specific wine laws. For example, Meritage is generally a Bordeaux-style blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, but may also include Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. Commercial use of the term Meritage is allowed only via licensing agreements with the Meritage Association. European classifications France's various appellation systems based on the concept of terroir, with classifications ranging from van der table at the bottom, through van der pays and appellation d'origine vin de limite de qualité supérieure, up to appellation d'origine controlée or similar, depending on the region. Portugal has developed a system resembling that of France and, in fact, pioneered this concept in 1756 with the Royal Charter creating the demarcated Douro region and regulating the production and trade of wine. Germany created a similar scheme in 2002. Although it has not yet achieved the authority of the other countries' classification systems, Spain, Greece and Italy have classifications based on a dual system of region of origin and product quality. Beyond Europe New World wines, those made outside the traditional wine regions of Europe, are usually classified by grape rather than by terroir or region of origin. Although there have been unofficial attempts to classify them by quality. According to Canadian food and drug regulations, wine in Canada is an alcoholic beverage that is produced by the complete or partial alcoholic fermentation of fresh grapes, grape must products derived solely from fresh grapes, or any combination of them. There are many materials added during the course of the manufacture, such as yeast, concentrated grape juice, dextrose, fructose, glucose or glucose solids, invert sugar, sugar, or aqueous solutions, calcium sulfate in such quantity that the content of soluble sulfates in the finished wine shall not exceed 0.2% weight by volume calculated as potassium sulfate, calcium carbonate in such quantity that the content of tartaric acid in the finished wine shall not be less than 0.15% weight by volume, also, sulfurous acid, including salts thereof, in such quantity that its content in the finished wine shall not exceed 70 parts per million in the free state, or 350 parts per million in the combined state, calculated as sulfur dioxide, caramel, amylase, and pectinase at a maximum level of use consistent with good manufacturing practice, brandy, fruit spirit, or alcohol derived from the alcoholic fermentation of a food source distilled to not less than 94% alcohol by volume. Prior to final filtration may be treated with a strongly acid cation exchange resin in the sodium ion form, or a weakly basic anion exchange resin in the hydroxyl ion form. Brought to you by Wikivide Documentaries Would you like to know more?